Hello guys, it's FRH Racers here and welcome to the next instalment of my track guide series where I teach you all the lines you need to know to become a very quick driver on Forza. Today we're at Sonoma, a track which favours a balanced car such as my C-Class Porsche 911 Turbo. It has been upgraded and tuned so that it can grip on all the off-camber corners here and still have enough power so that it makes up time on the straights. Let's go for a hot lap and I'll talk you through what you see. Getting a good beginning to a lap here isn't too critical as the run to turn 1 is relatively short, but regardless, do your best to get the exit out of the final hairpin before you make your way towards the line. Now prepare for turn 1, arguably the most difficult corner of the track. You have to be ultra committed here, aiming directly for the outside kerb. This will allow you then to get a late apex into the second part of the corner, giving you the best exit and the quickest times. Notice the way that I don't do the bulk of my braking until I actually get onto this kerb, as I want to keep the car as straight as possible when I actually brake, and this prevents locking up. Now focus on hitting the apex and getting as good of an exit as you can. For the next two corners, get out as wide as you can for the entrance, and aim to get two wheels on each of the inside kerbs. Don't brake too much either, as the hill helps the car slow down naturally. On exit, be very careful as the outside kerb can sneak up on you, sucking you out onto the grass. The next right hander will come up immediately and is deceptively tight. Don't overestimate how much speed you can carry through here, and aim to hit the inside kerb and this will set you up for a good exit. Now keep to your racing line as we prepare for one of the longest left hand corners on the game. Make sure as wide as possible on entry and aim to get a late apex. Be very careful as the camber will cause the car to feel very light so throttle control is required. As soon as you feel the car is able to, floor the throttle for the exit. You can judge how good your exit is according to how well your car hits the outside kerb. If you go over it, you got on the throttle too early. If you fall short, you got on the power too late. Keep this in mind when you're practicing this tricky corner. Now, for the next corner I see many different lines from people online. We have the ultra wide line where they try to get an insane exit. And we also have the ultra tight line where they try to minimise the distance travelled in order to get the quicker times. What we want to do is the midpoint of these. Stay in the middle of the track and this will give us enough of an exit and will also keep the distance short enough to get a great time. If you hit the inside kerb on exit you know you've done a great line and you'll be able to get good exit. The next very fast corners require confidence and commitment as it is very easy to go wide here. Only a dab of the brakes is needed in most cars, and you'll have to practice until you can nail the correct turn-in point consistently. Take this well, and there is a surprising amount of time to be gained. Now for this chicane. Brake hard and try your absolute best to hit the first apex, as this will set you up nicely for a good exit, which is critical for the run down to the final corner. Also, resist the temptation to cut it all together, as that's just what noobs online do. You don't get much of a break before the final hairpin. Break hard and again try to hit the inside apex as you'll be able to get on the throttle earlier. Be aware that the car is often really slidey out of here. Now just keep it flat out as you head across the line and that concludes a very quick hot lap of Sonoma. Thank you everyone for watching this video. It has been F4H Racers once again and uh, I hope you're enjoying these series. It's very fun to make actually because it makes me understand really what I'm doing when I go around these circuits it makes me think a lot more logically about each corner um, but yeah if you enjoyed please hit a like button I'm really grateful for the support I've got recently and uh, as long as the support continues I guess the videos will continue so yeah thanks again everyone and uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at F4H Racers that's where I'm active most and uh, yeah I'll see you next time thank you